Hello everyone and welcome to my web development series. So in this series you're going to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So before you get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I release content like this one. So let's get started. So I just made notes to simplify everything for anyone who does not have any technical background. So HTML, we have HTML which is something that we're going to learn, which is the first thing that we're going to learn. So HTML is used to tell the browser what to show to the user. So this includes text, links, buttons, and forms, and other elements that are available in HTML. So to give an example of this, we have text. So just give a practical example. We have Netflix landing page. So you can see there's, there's, a, there's text here, there's text here, and there's text. There's text everywhere, as you can see. So we have a button, which is which is this button here, which is written get started. So we also have CSS, which is used to style or design things displayed, displayed in the browser. So this includes drawing anything in the browser or coloring anything or, posi or positioning things in the, in the browser. So to give a practical example, as you can see this font or this text has a white color this text also has a white color so that is established using CSS so we can also position things so as you can see there's a distance between this line this horizontal line and this everything that's here this image and this text here so to be able to establish this this behavior is using CSS so we also have JavaScript, which is used to establish the behavior of things displayed in the browser. So now to, to show an illustration of JavaScript in play. So when you, when you enter your email on this text box and click, and click get started, something is going to happen. So that is established using JavaScript. So JavaScript handles everything to make everything more dynamic. So once you enter your email and press the get started button, it's going to send your email to the server, the Netflix server, and do something with that, store that in a database. So that behavior is established using JavaScript. And as you can see, these images are changing constantly. This is a behavior that is also established using JavaScript. So we start with HTML. So in HTML, we have tags. So this define the start and the end of an element. They are like, I just give an example here. So they are like a shelter that protects an element. They start with a, a less than symbol and end with a greater than symbol. So we also have elements. So these are what's inside the text. So this is what's inside the less than symbol and the greater than symbol. So elements just stay between this less than symbol and the greater than symbol. So they define what to display in the browser. So this includes headings, forms, lists, etc. So as you can see, if I go to Netflix landing page, we have this big text here. This is a heading. As you can see, as you can see, it's bold. So user's attention will be cached by this bold text. So that's a heading. So some of the useful elements that you need to know or you can memorize are the doc type element, which is used to tell the browser what type or version of HTML we are currently using. So this will tell the browser that we are using HTML5, which is the current version of HTML. Then we have the HTML element, which is established to tell the browser that the file that you, you, you are currently working on is a HTML file. We have the, the head element. So this element is used uh, in conjunction with other tags, with other elements rather, to tell the, the browser information about that specific page the user is on. Then we also have a link element. This is used to link your HTML file with the CSS file. So that the, everything that you write in CSS can correspond with everything that's on that CSS, on that HTML file. 
so we also have a body element so everything that, that you see that, that the user sees on a page that's inside the body tag the, the body element rather so everything that you see here is inside the the body element we have a script element this script element is used to reference your javascript file or kind of link your javascript file with your with your html file so you can also have a script where you can write your old your whole javascript logic inside of then we also have attributes so this help elements to look nice be, be referenced or be distinct so if you if you can see uh, example here we have an input this is an input element so this input element has an attribute of type which is called with a value of text so as you can see now you can enter text here but you can also have a type of radio which is something where you, that allows the user to select only one option so it can be multiple options so if you have a radio uh, options only user can choose one option then now we're going to move on to css so in css we have selectors so these are used to reference html elements to a style or design on them so as you can see we have this button which is something like this so initially this button didn't was not looking like this it was looking really uh not really looking nice but using css we were able to, they were able to add the background color on this button which is red and the color of the text which is white so they've referenced this specific button and added some style on on the on top of that specific uh, element so we have properties as well so this tells the browser what to do on the selected element that is how to style the selected element so we have background color we have height we have width etc so as you can see on this like i said on this button we have a background color of red and on this text we have color of uh white um though as you can see this input input box or input text box the, the the width has a certain amount of width and it has a height as you can see which is the vertical so from this part up to here at the bottom the width is from this side on the left to right so we also have values so the values these are the values that go hand in hand with the property that you chose to use so this includes red like i said 20 percent 20 pixels etc so for example the property you can select background color then say the background color will be red for the height you can say height then say the height will be 20 percent so those are the values for the properties so once you select a html element you can add properties on top of that and add value to that property so now we're going to move on to javascript so in javascript we have what is called a dom which is document object manipulation which is basically used to manipulate elements in html so you can select same elements and do something on top of those elements if i type something and press the get started button as you can see at the bottom here we see text that is written please enter a valid email address so that is so that is established using the DOM manipulation it is able to detect what text is inside this text box and based on that you can tell the user to do certain things or stop from or refrain from doing certain things so that's it with DOM manipulations we also have conditional statements which are the if else statements and the else if statements that is used to bring logic in your in your javascript file so that you can be able to tell the user when they do something that is wrong and tell them that they're doing something wrong and also if they're doing something right tell the user that they're doing something right so for example 
as you can see the if statement can be seen when you type something in here so inside here if there's no add sign you can tell this the user that there's no add sign so that's an invalid email address so that's how you can use the if statement so if there's no add symbol you can tell the user that there's no if there's no add symbol then we also have functions we have variables we have methods we have switch cases and we have data types which include objects strings numbers etc so the tools that you're going to need to follow along in this web development series is a text editor so the popular text editor that, that everyone usually use is called visual studio code so to download visual studio code just head over to code.visualstudio.com forward slash download it's going to take you to this page you can select the installer of the operating system that you're using if you're using windows you can click on this and download the visual studio code if you're using ubuntu you can click on this if you're using mac operating system you can click on this download button and it's going to download visual studio code so in this web development series we're going to build netflix landing page which is what we've already seen which is everything that's here so we're going to build everything that you're looking at right now.